have to condemn the dangerous anti-police rhetoric. It's getting more and more. It's very unfair. Uh, you have some bad apples. We all know that. And those will be taken care of through the system. And nobody's going to be easy on them, either. And you have people that choke. They're under tremendous — I said it yesterday, I said it last night — they're under tremendous pressure. And they may be there for 15 years and have a spotless record, and all of a sudden they're faced with a decision. They have a quarter of a second — quarter of a second to make a decision. And if they make a wrong decision one way or the other, they're either dead or they're in big trouble. And people have to understand that. They choke sometimes. So I'm committed to helping Kenosha rebuild. We all are. Uh, we will provide $1 million to the Kenosha law enforcement so that you have some extra money to go out and do what you have to do. You took a rough — it was a rough week, to put it mildly, and uh, you've done it incredibly well. I'm also providing nearly $4 million to support the small businesses that I talked about today that got burned up, burned down. And we're going to be providing over $42 million to support public safety statewide, including direct support for law enforcement and funding for additional prosecutors to punish criminals and resources to provide services to victims of crime. And that was Bill Barr wanted that money put in. So we're not going to be cut police funding. If you look at what they want to do, they want to cut police funding. We want to increase police funding substantially. We have to have our law enforcement. We cherish our law enforcement. We wouldn't be here without our law enforcement. Even me, I'm, I'm here today. I feel so safe. And you went through hell just a few days ago. But I feel so safe. I better be safe, right? I better be safe. But we're all safe. And we're safe because of law enforcement. That fist that you put up in anger, we're asking to raise up high in unity and come on board with the Blakes. We're going to make some big changes that affect all the little Jakes around this nation so their parents can let their children go outside the door, play in the yard, go down the street, drive the vehicle, and not have to worry about police officers that might do them in. And we're not going to leave here. I'm tired. I'm a labor foreman in the union. I've been hurt. And I'm sucking up all the pain we have just to stand on our square until we get justice for little Jake, which means we get an indictment and a conviction of the man who shot him seven times in the back. We don't have any words for the orange man. All I ask is that um, he keep his disrespect, his foul language far away from our family. We need a president that's going to unite our country and take us in a different direction.